Hi, what would you like? I have two steaks, please. No problem. Now, we all love a good steak, but what if that meat came from cloned animals? Would you still eat it? Well, that's not really a question that you need to answer right now. Over 58% of Europeans surveyed said it didn't really tickle their fancy. But cloning is used for racehorses and for science. So what's it all about? Time to take a closer look. Le clonage consiste à reproduire un individu sans passer par la fécondation. Le principal objectif pour la filière agroalimentaire du clonage, c'est de reproduire des animaux d'élite génétiquement sélectionnés pour produire des, des quantités de lait importantes, pour produire de la viande ayant des caractéristiques particulières. So it's nothing to do with genetically modified organisms or GMOs, where the genome is modified through the insertion of one or more genes, changing its genetic makeup. Cloned animals come under novel foods, so if member states were to allow them, technically we could eat them, but so far no one has. In 2008, the Novel Foods Directive was put under review. The Parliament wanted a complete ban on clones, their embryos and their offspring, but after three years, negotiations broke down. At this cow breeding farm in Belgium, every cow is unique because they're not cloned. But is that really what farmers want? Au niveau de la nature, au niveau éthique, je crois vraiment que les bêtes n'ont pas besoin de ça. Je crains vraiment que on arrive à une standardisation au niveau génétique. L'avantage d'avoir une, une hétérogénéité au niveau des individus nous permet d'avoir une résistance des animaux à pouvoir euh, contrecarrer un peu tous les aléas. Hey. Welfare of the animal is the primary concern here in Europe. But what about food safety? The European Food Safety Authority says there's no difference between traditional food and food from cloned animals. Quand même, ça crée des malformations dans les intestins, certain nombre d'animaux, aussi pour la 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 vache, la mère, donc c'est tel cas de 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 vache. Il en général, il faut que le faire naître par par césarienne. In 2014, cloning was put back on the table, but this time it was separated from novel foods. But the three negotiators, the Commission, the Parliament and Member States, are at loggerheads and can't find a common position. Tracing and labelling could be a solution, but it's seen as too cumbersome and costly. It could damage trade between the EU and third countries that do not differentiate foods on the basis of animal origin, i.e. if the animal is bred traditionally or cloned. Until new rules on cloning can be clarified, a 1997 law on novel foods remains the precedent. But it doesn't prohibit cloning, or for the offspring of cloned animals, on the European market.